Aries, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, March 26th to Sunday, April 1st, 2018. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you all know I will be doing a uh, an April monthly webinar this week, Thursday, March 29th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. If you are interested in it, I will be talking about the month of April, what it's all about, as well as some of the biggest alignments of this month, which do include Saturn and Pluto going retrograde, Chiron moving into Aries, and Venus coming home to Taurus. So that's what we're going to talk about. The way I see this month is that it's the transition month here between an old life uh, that we were living into a new one, moving forward where we're going to start to feel much more stable, much more secure, and much more lighthearted. And this month is the in-between time where we're making the switch. And I think the end of the month is going to be a good one, or at least moving forward, but it's going to take a lot of dedication and a lot of diligence and a lot of determination to make sure that we're making this transition in the right way to move on. All right. And if that's something you're interested in learning more about, please sign up at the link down below in my description box, and hopefully I'll see you there. Now, Aries for your horoscope what we've got is the Sun hanging out here in your sign so that means a lot you're thinking about about you about who you are about your identity about what you want just everything about you is what you're trying to think about this week all right on Monday as the Sun is in your sign it's in a square here with Mars which is going to be in your 10th house of your career your reputation and your social standing so even though you're thinking about yourself uh, wanting to do some things for you based on who you are, I think there's a lot of focus that's coming in to make sure that you're doing things right. <laughs> you're not just doing whatever your heart desires, but you're doing things that have purpose, that have impact, that can put your life in the right direction, that can give you the reputation that it is that you want. And I think that's what you're trying to figure out this week is not only how you can do things that you want, but how you can do the right things that are best for you that are going to end up really helping you have the career and the reputation that can move you forward. All right, so that's what I see happening on Monday. Um, as it's going on, there could be some unexpected things that do come up on Wednesday. And that's because on that day, we do have Uranus and Venus here in a conjunction in your first house. So what that could bring is some kind of unexpected news or some kind of unexpected thing that comes up in regards to your relationships with Venus involved and your money could also just be about things that you value. Maybe you didn't realize you valued some things that it is that you now do value coming in, uh, a happening, okay? Could be some kind of money coming in, money coming out. Uh, could also be something, yeah, with a relationship and how someone else interacts with you happening. Because Venus is an Aries, a sign it doesn't like, and because Venus is close to Uranus, a planet it's not too friendly with, this could be a little jarring, whatever comes up, but it could also give you insight too as to what's going on with you, what people are on board with you, and how you need to use your finances and in what way. All right, so that's what's going on on Wednesday. After that happens, on Thursday and Friday, the sun moves further through Aries, your sign, and makes a square here with Saturn in your 10th house of career. So what could come in is that after you have some unexpected thing occur on Wednesday uh, in regards to relationships and regards to money and what it is that's important to you, I see Thursday and Friday. Friday, maybe it requiring a choice from you, a decision, some kind of commitment in some way to where it is you see your life going and to who it is that you are coming in after all of that. With this being Saturn, with this being a square, especially to your first house, it could feel a little bit restricting in some way or it could feel like it takes a lot of effort, but if you put the effort in and you think in a very disciplined long-term way about who you are and about what you want and about where you see your life going, uh, as this unexpected thing has come up, I think it is going to help you eventually move forward in a better way, okay? So that's what I see happening there. Even if there is some kind of restriction that comes in on Thursday and Friday with the square to Saturn, not feeling quite right about where your life is going, I do think there are some positive things that can come from it. That's because on Friday and Saturday, while this is going on, we do have Mercury in your first house making a trine to your north node in your fifth house or the transiting north node in your fifth house of happiness love romance also of passion projects and entrepreneurial ventures and kids so 
and whatever's going on here in regards to your career and where you see your life going, how you can have the reputation that it is that you want, even if it's a little bit unsettling or even if things are a little bit difficult, I think the seriousness that you have about your life and where it's going is going to help you ultimately to be happier, to do something that you really like and enjoy, to work better with kids, <laughs> you know, if you want to spend more time with your kids uh, or with, uh, could, yeah, or with family, it could help you do that. It could help you spend more time with a romantic relationship or just doing something that it is that you like. <laughs> so taking the time here to think more seriously about where your life is going to maybe make the commitment or the hard decisions about your life and about what it is that you want, I think in the end is ultimately going to help you open up some doors to figure out what it is that you need to be happy, even if you got to play some long-term game here in some way or, or make some hard choices, all right? So that's what I see going on there. Then after that happens on Saturday, we've got the full moon in Libra, which for you is your seventh house of partnerships, relationships normally the one-on-one -on -one variety, a marriage partner, a business partner, um, yeah, or just someone that you feel close to. And I think what that's going to bring here is some kind of ending or culmination on Saturday, either where you end some relationships, you end a relationship chapter, a way of functioning with the other people in your life, or you really start to step into some relationship, perhaps that's come to you or that you've been working on for some time to really begin to, I want to say, right, complete it, step into it uh, um, in some way, okay? And the reason why that's going on with your relationships is so that you can then start to focus more here where um, Aries is in your first house on you, on what you want, on putting your life in the right place. And I think this full moon is trying to help you make sure that you're working with the right people, that you're working with the people in the right ways, so that you really then can begin to do some things that you need to be happier, to put your life in the right place, to have the reputation, the career that you want, and move forward. All right. That's what's happening there. Then on Sunday, so the very end of this week and into next week, we get um, the Sun and Mercury making a conjunction in your first house, and we get Saturn and Mars making a conjunction in your 10th house, a career. So I think what that brings at the very, very end of this week, after maybe there's been some unexpected things that come up, after maybe you've had to make some hard decisions or there's been some kind of restriction that you've been feeling in life, I think on Sunday, you get a chance to hopefully start to integrate everything that's happened to you <laughs> to understand better who it is that you are and what it is that you want to make better sense of your identity of what's going on with you so that you can feel better with the sun mercury conjunction in your first while you're hopefully feeling much better about who it is that you are and integrating everything that's happened to you so that you can feel more comfortable with it i think the mars saturn thing is also going to help you to start to move forward at a faster pace make more progress when it comes to your career Career, your reputation and putting your life in a better spot and I think this week you're just trying to root out any uh, loose ends any weak spots trying to get more information about what's really going on with you uh, and your life so that you can finally start to hopefully live it and step into it more in a better way as you move forward creating a life you really want okay so that's what I see for you, Aries. Your card for the week is the Page of Swords upright. This, to me, is a card of lots of communication going on, lots of thinking for you happening with this card. Lots of ideas, maybe. So I see it definitely being a good week to um, think, to communicate with people, maybe to even envision your future in some way. I don't see this week, however, being a good week to actually make your ideas real, <laughs> to actually have conversations that stick <laughs> uh, in some way, at least especially not before the Sun Square Saturn thing happens on Friday and we've still got Mercury going retrograde. But um, I think this could be a week if you just are open to whatever goes on, going with the flow, to just expressing yourself in some way, I think that's a good a good week that this can be for, <laughs> okay? Not so much to try to make sure that you plan and that things get done and that everything happens, but just to kind of get things out there, talk, see where other people are at, where are you at right now in your life, to get more information on where you're at. And I think if you can just explore ideas and let information come to you in some way, instead of trying to control everything, I think by the end of this week, you're going to have a much better idea about what really is going on in your life, what new chapter we all are coming into, and how you can approach it in a much better way. All right? So that's what I've got for you this week, Aries. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you liked it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.